Hey you guys, my name is Ashley Erickson. I'm an artist with Saint Beauty. So did you take advantage of the Black Friday sale? If you did, you are most likely starting to receive your makeup. Today, I'm gonna go over how to use the number eight collection with Saint. So I have my palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my highlight shades. So with this collection, you get three highlight shades, which is amazing because it makes it so versatile. So what we're gonna do and what I like to do, this is personal preference, I like to take my palette and I like to put my three highlight shades next to each other. So in the level four collection that I use, I have Sandy. Sandy is my darkest. I'm going to put that in my tin here. Then I have my highlight shade June. June is the next darkest. So I'm going to take that shade and pop it into my palette. Everything magnetizes right into here. Then I'm going to take Candlelit, which is the lightest. Put that in there so you can see we have we're building our palette and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my contour shade which is Astoria okay Astoria is going to go on there if you got the number eight you have two layers in your palette which is awesome so next we're going to take our bronzer which is Bella bronzer Bella bronzer and then I'm going to take my Rose Gold Illuminator. I didn't want to open a new one. <laughs> I'm going to put that right next to my bronzer because I like mixing the two. Then we're going to take one of our Lip and Cheek Sandstone. Put that in there. And then lastly, Boardwalk. So you're getting two Lip and Cheek, a bronzer, an illuminator, three highlight shades, which are our foundation shades, and a contour. Okay. You also got a brush. So this is the 3D brush. This brush is so versatile, so easy to use. You can use it for every single shade in your collection. What I like to do is I like to start with my contour. This is a one layer makeup. However, if you need more, if you need more full coverage or you just like a heavier look or you're going out and you have an event and you need it to be more, you can always layer. It is layerable. It is customizable to what you want. So what I like to do is I kind of like to map out where my contour goes first. You can use either side. I just like to use this side because I kind of pinch it a little bit. Once I pinch it, I'm going to start with my contour color. Now, less is more with cream. I think we all get carried away because we see all of these videos where we have these crazy lines all over our face and then they just like magically blend it out. I will say those are really fascinating to watch. However, when you're doing it at home and if you're new to using Saint Makeup, that's not the most user-friendly. So, so as you go, you can kind of blend and do the things. So I'm going to pinch this fluffier side of my 3D brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap, tap, tap into my contour, okay? Less is more. Now, this is probably going to be enough contour for most all of my face. So what I like to do, I'm going to start right at my forehead. I'm going to hold my hair back just because I don't want to get color on it. And I'm going to go from brow to brow, okay? Next, I'm going to... <laughs> I should have pulled my hair back. Next, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go where my ear is. I'm going to kind of meet right there, right along my cheekbone, okay? What I'm going to do, you can see, I'm going to press, press, press that product right in under that cheekbone, okay? I'm going to stop right about the corner of my eye. You don't want to get too far in because it's just going to end up, you're going to put blush there. It'll just end up kind of getting muddy. So next, I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Press, 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 okay? I do need a little bit more, so I'm going to go back into my brush or back into my tin a little bit more. We're going to press, press, press press and it really is that easy. Then I'm going to take what's left and I'm going to take and put it along my jawline, kind of carry it down. Then add some up here. I am going to do a touch more. Okay, now I do also want to tell you there's a few different ways to get more full coverage. If you just want a really light application, swiping your brush is going to be best. If you really want to have more full coverage, more definition, um, more of a glam kind of look, 
you want to stipple your brush. So stippling is just basically taking your brush and moving it up and down. It is distributing more of the makeup there. So you're not necessarily, you know, swiping and blending as you go. Totally up to you how you do it. That's the beauty of it. It is so customizable to how you apply and also um, what brush you use. If you're using dense bristles, it's going to give you more full coverage. If you use any kind of fluffy bristles, it's going to give you more of a CC cream coverage. So now that we have mapped out our contour, and another place you can contour is along the sides of your nose and even along your lips, totally optional. If you're new to contour, I say start in these four places, your forehead, your cheekbone, and along your jaw. Don't forget to blend it out along your jaw. And now you can see I don't have anything left on my brush. There should not be any makeup clear down in these bristles. So we can move on to our next shade. So next I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start kind of mapping out. I'm actually gonna do my brightening shade. So we're gonna go to the cone side here. My brightening shade is gonna be one of these two shades. So you're basically getting a highlight shade, a foundation shade that's gonna match your skin. Sandy is gonna be the closest to my skin tone. Then June is gonna be a little bit lighter and Candlelit is going to be the lightest. Consider Candlelit and June kind of a mix of what your concealer would be. So Sandy, your main shade would be your main foundation and these two could be a mix of your concealer where you wanna add a little bit of brightness, a little lightness, but nothing too wild. You can also mix and match these colors. It is completely fine to do that. So I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take Candlelit and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with my contour. I'm just kind of dabbing in with my brush. So you can see there's quite a bit of makeup on there, but not anything. It's just sitting superficial on the bristles. So I'm going to go and just consider brightening the center of your face. Okay. So I'm just gently bringing this down the middle of my face between my brows down my bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then we're gonna do a little on the middle part of my chin. You can always grab more. It's easier to add as you go. Now you can see this color is a little bit lighter than my natural shade. So I don't wanna put this all over. I wanna put this color where I want to be nice and bright, okay? Usually that's the center of our face. Then you also can go under your eye. For under my eye, I don't necessarily wanna be this light. I don't wanna add a super light color under my eyes anywhere that has texture because light color is gonna bring out the texture. So I'm gonna to switch to this color June and I'm gonna do, nothing's left on here, gonna go into June and I'm gonna carry a little bit under my eye here, a little bit under my eye here, and I'm gonna kind of brush that around just very gently taking that dome side and it's really easy if you get too much it's easy to redistribute the cream everything is the same consistency so you don't have to worry about doing things in steps like if you were putting on a foundation and then a powder and then you know all the things this all works really nicely together because it's all cream consistency okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of that and add it to the outside corner. And you can see I'm putting very, very little on my brush. So we're gonna add a little on the outside and you can stipple, which is moving the brush up and down, or you can kind of slide it um, and glide it like that. Gliding is gonna give you more of a CC cream coverage. Stippling is gonna give you more full coverage. So customize it to what you are needing. Okay, so now that we have our brightening shade on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the same side of my brush, I'm gonna go into my main highlight shade. So this is gonna go where nothing else is. On my cheek area here, I have larger pores. So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do as far as the makeup application in that area. Let me show you, first of all, we're going into the main shade. So sandy along my jawline. I am gonna kind of swoop that right under, right under my contour. I like to do this because I like to think of it like a magic eraser step. If you get too low with your contour, you can go in and really clean that up. So we're gonna add a little bit. Now I'm not gonna be like 
super fancy about this. This is going to kind of be a quick application and we're just going to tap on the makeup in those areas. Be sure to get around your nose, the areas where there is none. I'm going to add a little above my brow here in that area, just tapping a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is take a little more and add it in that area. When you are doing any area that may have, that your pores may be larger, you want to make sure that you are stippling. So I like to go into this side of my brush when I blend. Stippling is key for making sure that the makeup doesn't sit on top of your skin, especially areas that you need a little bit more full coverage or areas where your pores are larger. So this area in particular, I am going to go in here and I am going to press. I'm not going crazy, but I am pressing that product in. I am pressing it in because I don't want to enhance my pores and I also want it to be a little bit more full coverage there. Now that we have pressed that product in, you can see it's kind of blended a little on its own. So it's really easy to go into this next step and blend everything out. I like to start with my lighter color and then go into my dark. So same brush, I'm just gonna work around and press that product in, okay? Pressing in, you can even sweep and swoop if you want to, if you want less full coverage, totally up to you. I prefer to do more of a stippling motion. Now I'm gonna work into my contour color. Remember contour is meant to lift, so we wanna lift and raise that. So when we are doing our contour, we are blending up, okay? Even into our hairline here, we want to blend up. When it comes to here, we are gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna kind of press and move our brush up. Okay, now that we're done with our first layer of makeup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into our second layer. So this is really the beauty of Saint because it is so, so versatile. These, this number eight collection is gonna be really versatile, especially going into different seasons. If you are going in from spring to summer, you're gonna probably need a little bit of a darker shade. This is where the Bella bronzer really comes into play because Bella can add so much warmth back into your skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this fluffier side of my brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of Bella bronzer. Now Bella looks really dark and intimidating on here. It does go dark on your skin. However, it blends out like a dream. Most of the cream products really are super pigmented, but all it takes is a little bit of work on the back end, especially if you get too much to kind of blend it out beautifully. So bronzer can really go anywhere where you would typically be kissed by the sun. I like to do a little bronzer and kind of warm up my skin along my temples. Now, what if you have bangs or what if you have a small forehead? You can skip this. It's totally optional. You do not have to do this step at all. And if you only wanna contour a little on the sides, you can do that too. Now, I also like to add a little bit of bronzer kind of above my contour. Bronzer is typically a warmer tone than contour. Contour is more of a cool tone because what contour is doing is it's kind of mimicking a shadow. So you're gonna see this is nice and warm. This is a nice, beautiful, warm brown. And then the contour is a little bit more of a cooler tone. Contour is to mimic a shadow. Bronzer is to come and come in and kind of warm it all up again. Now I've seen people put bronzer all over their face. You can do that too. I sometimes in the summer bronze or instead of using contour, I use bronzer. I also like to add a little bit along my neck and warm that up, especially if you tend to have, if your, you know, your face doesn't necessarily match your neck. This is where a little bit of bronzer can do magical things for you. Now, what if your neck is a little bit darker? Okay. 
If your neck is a little bit darker, you can always add a little bit of a con or a little bit of your highlight shade. So you can either go a little bit lighter right here to kind of match the two, or you can go a little bit darker. Once again, so, so versatile. All right, now that we have our bronzer in, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to stipple. I'm going to stipple and press this product in. If you're new to cream, you are most likely going to overblend. Don't worry. We all do it. It's okay. But don't overblend your contour out. Don't blend it out. It is meant to have a little bit of a contrast here. Do we want really stark lines on our face? No, but you do want to have that contrast and give yourself that th three-dimensional look. Now that we have that all done, I'm going to go into sandstone. So sandstone, our lip and cheek are phenomenal because they are just that. You can use it on your lips, you can use it on your cheek, and you can even use either our bronzer, our illuminator, or the lip and cheek on your eyes as an eyeshadow. They are all cream-based, so if you tend to crease a little bit, you might want to set with a translucent powder or finish with some kind of powder shadow. So I'm going to take, once again, this side of my brush, going to tap into it. Now, blush placement is different. If you really want to have a create or you want to create a fuller cheek, you want to place your blush right on the apple. If you want to create more of a slim, slimming effect, you want to go right on your cheekbone and kind of carry that up. Totally up to you. You can go in. Blush is buildable. Blush is buildable. Don't go crazy with this because it is very, very pigmented. So it's easier to add layers as you go as opposed to spend a long time trying to kind of blend it all out. So very, very little when I'm adding this. And I am just doing the exact same thing. I'm pressing it right on top of those two shades of my contour and my bronzer. I consider that like a chair. There you go. That is our three dimensional makeup with Saint using the number eight palette and our 3D brush. Let me put on some eyeshadow. Let me do my brows. Let me finish and I'll come right back. Okay. So here is the almost finished look. I did put sandstone, the lip and cheek. I lined my lips with that. I ended up using some of the boardwalk lip and cheek to fill on the inside. I did switch to a different palette to do my shadow and my brows. For my eyeshadow, I did Stay Golden, which is a matte color all over my lid. And then I mixed Tawanda and Drift and added a little bit of the inside shimmer of my eyelid. For my brows, I always fill in with Saint's matte shadow called Bird. Now let's not forget about our illuminator in here. So illuminators can be mixed in the summer times especially. I like to mix it with my bronzer to really give a dewy finish. However, what in the world do you do with these illuminators? Illuminators are meant to just kind of give you a little bit of a shimmer and grab the light and just kind of create this really beautiful pop. Okay, so this one is the rose gold. It is so soft, so subtle. The cream illuminators are really really beautiful. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to pop that right on top of the highest point of my cheekbone. What it's meant to do, like I said, it's going to grab the light and kind of give you this really pretty shimmery kind of look. You can add this to the tip of your nose, to your cupid's bow right above your lip, and you can make sure you add over here. You can also add it to the uh, arch of your brow if you want to add a little bit anywhere that you want to add a little bit of a shimmer. If you guys have just gotten your collection number eight, I hope this helps you a little bit. If you're a customer of mine, don't ever hesitate to reach out with any questions you may have. If you're new to Saint and you are interested in getting color match for the collection number eight, you can click the link above and get color match there, or you can text the word color match to 319-552-5888. Eight. I hope this, this helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I will have some more tutorials coming soon.